With another application cycle comes even more changes to the Casper test and its corresponding elements. Last year, Casper added a video section to the test as well as two new components, Snapshot and Duet. This year, the company is changing things up yet again. Here are all of the changes you need to be aware of and what these changes will mean for you. Dr. Jubal, MedSchoolInsiders.com. The first big change is the rebranding of the main company. The Casper exam, along with the Snapshot and Duet, are all components of one large assessment known as Acuity Insights. The assessment was previously called Altus Suite. The second big change involves another component of Acuity Insights, which is Snapshot. Snapshot is a short, one-way interview that assesses an applicant's people skills by asking them why they want to pursue medicine. This year, Snapshot will no longer be a requirement for anyone applying to the 2023-24 to cycle. However, Casper and Duet may still be required for certain schools, and you should always check each school's application requirements ahead of time. The Casper exam format has also changed. Previously, the exam consisted of 15 scenarios. This year, the number has decreased to 14 scenarios instead, consisting of 5 word-based scenarios and 9 video-based scenarios. Since the number of scenarios has decreased, the exam is also slightly shorter, lasting 90 to 110 minutes compared to last year's 100 to 120 minutes. Last year, a video section was added to Casper after too many complaints from test takers that Casper favored those who could type faster. This year, instead of taking the typed section first, followed by the video portion, Casper has switched the two. The breaks have also changed, and and the 10 minute break now comes after the video section and before the typed section. There is also a 5 minute break halfway into the typed section. Another change for this year is the price of Casper. It now costs $85 to take the exam and distribute the results to 8 programs. For each additional program, you'll have to pay an extra $15. These fees include the cost of Duet if your schools require it. So what do all of these changes mean for you? You can take a deep breath knowing that you don't need to worry about preparing for a snapshot interview this year. No schools will require this component for the 20 2023 to 24 cycle. The main difference you need to be aware of is that the video portion of Casper will occur first before the typed section. Use this change to your benefit. It means you can take time leading up to your test to ensure you warm up and prepare your speaking voice. Older review materials may still say that there are three questions for each scenario in the video portion of Casper, but there are now only two. There are still three questions per scenario in the typed section of the test. This means there's even more pressure to succeed on the two questions you are given in the video portion. You are only rated on two questions per scenario, so there's less of a window for error compared to when you had three questions to get your points across. Casper now takes 90 to 110 minutes to complete, including an introduction and two optional breaks. The test is composed of 14 scenarios, some video-based and some word-based. The test is divided into two response sections, a video response section of six scenarios and a typed response section of eight scenarios. Each scenario is followed by two open-ended questions in the video section and three open-ended questions in the type section of the test. The first section is for your video responses. You will be presented with four video-based scenarios and two word-based scenarios in random order. After each scenario, you will have 30 seconds to reflect on what you saw or read. You will then have 10 seconds to read your question before responding. There are two questions per scenario. For each question, you will have 60 seconds to respond by video recording. After the 60 seconds are up, your video answer will automatically be submitted for assessment. If you don't need the entire 60 seconds, you can submit your answer sooner. If your answer runs long Longer than 60 seconds, you will be cut off once one minute is up, and whatever you said during that minute will be submitted. After answering two questions, you will be provided with the next scenario. You will once again have 30 seconds to reflect before moving on to your next questions. You are not allowed to review your response before it automatically submits, and you can't re-record your answer if you're not happy with it. Whatever you say or do in the 60 seconds will be submitted to Casper, even if you stare blankly at the camera. This is why it's so important to practice answering Casper questions in the timed video format before you take the test. Even the best interviewer can be surprised by Casper's speedy process if they don't adequately prepare. Before moving to the typed response section, you will be able to take an optional 10 minute break. We highly recommend that you utilize this time to compose and prepare yourself, hydrate, stretch, breathe, and reset for the second half of the test. The typed response section asks you to type responses to three word-based scenarios and five video-based scenarios given to you in random order. You will be asked to respond to three corresponding questions after being presented with each scenario. You have five minutes to type your responses to the three questions before you are automatically advanced to the next scenario. If you submit your answers before your five minutes are up or your timer runs out, your responses are saved and uploaded automatically. You cannot go back and change your answers. Do your best to answer all three questions, but don't let missing one trip you up. All three of your answers are graded together, so it's still possible to do well even if you only answer two questions but did so thoroughly. If 
you miss a question, take a deep breath and compose yourself. Don't let one question throw off your groove. Just because you can't study for Casper doesn't mean you can't prepare. The Casper test is a unique and fast-paced experience, which means the more familiar with the format you are, the better you will perform. Don't think you can ride on your interview skills and moral compass alone. Familiarize yourself with the format of the Casper test for the current year you're taking it. Begin answering practice questions within that format early on to gauge your comfort level. There's no specific amount of time you should spend preparing for Casper. It all depends on how confident you feel after you begin answering practice questions. Comprehensive Casper test preparation will give you the confidence you need to answer clearly and effectively during both the typed and video response sections of the test. To put your best foot forward on Casper, we've just released our all-new Casper course. We've distilled everything you need to know in a single resource with videos and examples to make Casper as stress-free and painless as possible. In the course, we'll walk you through the entire process from A to Z, including how to ace the test as quickly and smoothly as possible so you can free up time to focus on other parts of your application. For a limited time, use the early bird discount Casper Launch 23 for 25% off your purchase. Visit medschoolinsiders.com forward slash Casper to learn more. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out why getting into medical school is so hard and how to stand out. Much love and I'll see you all there.